So I figured I would try and make a strat video series, something along them lines, for basic like matchmaking strats you could run, say if you're a duo with a friend or maybe even trio, might look at some three man strats, but these are gonna be aimed at two men. Um obviously in a team you'd be looking at more like elaborate stuff and you could actually like set up proper timings, like multiple angles to hit from, things like that. So these are gonna be really basic. But they should be effective, they should work, they should help you get rounds, especially like at the lower ranks where people don't actually even attempt or in any sort of strats, just rush B, rush A. So first one we're gonna look at is an Inferno banana taking B. You'll wanna take banana control right at the start of the round, so I like to bounce a nade off here. Oops, not like that. So I like to just run up here and bounce a nade off this barrel. You can bounce a nade, you can bounce a flashbang. That your teammate can bounce a flashbang that you're playing with. Push the guys back, preferably, or even kill them if possible. But this is just aiming to push them back. And then once you take actual control of banana, this is where you set up the strat. You'll have the two guys generally sat on site somewhere. And we'll be looking at it, pushing them out of position or even killing them. So, first two things you need to know. One of you needs to know this this smoke, so you want to push into this wood stack. You want to aim in line with this post, up to the height of this post, so something like this. You want to throw that into coffin smoke. Blocks off the side, you can't push through this, or if you can then you should be looking, you should see him, kill him dead easy. You can sit there and you can see him still, but he can't see you. You can't see over that at all, you'll see here if I jump on, unless I jump. There's no way I'm seeing through it. So it's useful to know that, you want to remember that. Then you want the other guy to know this one, so you push into this corner right here. You want to aim at the tip of this spike here and then slightly lower. Or even the tip of the spike works, but if you go slightly too high it then fails, whereas if you go slightly too low it still works. So I prefer to just to aim around about here. You want to jump throw. This is a CT smoke, you should be throwing this every single time you take and be. That actually went wrong, it's left a gap on the side, but like I say, you went at the tip of the spike. Jump throw. It should bounce off this uh there you go, right there, on the edge of the roof. Edge of the roof. <laughs> so it should land right in the centre. And um only angle you'll have to check here is as you push up, check the plant pot position. So you've got this smoke down. You've got this smoke down. Next thing you'll want to know is you want to flash. So you might want to stand, say, here. This is just a general flash, just throw it over the roof. Whoops. Something like that. So you'll see, get coffin position. It'll get new box. It'll get the other side new box. It'll get dark. Should get just about everywhere on site. Don't know if probably won't get this position. No, this guy's safe. But definitely get this guy. And it might also get someone playing on top of here, I'm not too sure about that. A little bit. So throw that flash, then two smokes. Say you've got no more money, you might want to just push it to site right now. Everyone flashed on sight. You should have a decent chance taking this. You could have your teammates throw like hey cheese in these corners. Maybe over here somewhere behind new box. Take sight. We get the bomb down, there's a round for you. If you've got a little bit more money, here's some helpful Molotovs you can throw. So the one I would say is the most important is you want to aim at the left corner of this hut right up here. You wanna throw this. That helps clear out new box, so he couldn't run left unless he wants to hide behind second oranges, but you'll see him do that, so it's pretty bad. He's generally going to run this way and try and get to dark, so be ready at shooting when he comes out. Another good Molotov is uh, standing in this corner right here. Find this wooden post and follow it out to the edge of the tiles. Then aim slightly right, not too much, just a little bit. Then jump throw. Doesn't look like it burns there, but it does, trust me. So it gets up here, down here, that clears out two of your positions you want to be checking. I really like that Molotov because this angle is sometimes quite difficult to deal with because he'll get a kill and then he'll drop back 
and then you've got to clear out this angle or you can even fall back again and then you're probably going to lose another kill to that guy if you don't play it right so I just like to push him off there immediately so you throw them two molotovs, these two smokes, that flash you've probably got sight without them to take a fight the only place they could be is uh, dark or second oranges, they could be hid behind fountain I guess but it's not too good a position so say if you've got your HE left over you might want to just throw it in dark do some damage to that guy and then you don't have to clear this position so you could just focus on this one and that one you've got at least two of his in here, you, your friend, hopefully the team's followed you and then you should have sight without having to take any aim fights that's, that's the aim of this strategy, you shouldn't have to be like just peeking people, taking like long fights like this, I see people do all the time, I see people always jiggle peeking this hoping they can just dink the guy when really that's a bad fight, you shouldn't be taking that, you should be just smoking him off and getting into sight and trying to get the bomb down win the round so hopefully this is useful, hopefully you liked watching it, hopefully it helps and hopefully you'll come back for the next one. Enjoy!